Hello guys, bersama saya lagi dalam Alright Nopper Channel. Ini dia good news ataupun berita baik sahabat-sahabat semua. Selepas habisnya pengemaskinian, pendaftaran sistem pangkalan data utama ataupun PADU kepada rakyat Malaysia hari ini sahabat semua, saya ingin kongsikan satu lagi inisiatif daripada Kementerian Ekonomi yang dipertanggungjawabkan uh, kepada YB Rafizi Ramli. Malaysia is open for business and tech. Ah, so ini dia yang digelar sebagai KL20 sahabat-sahabat semua. Jadi apakah sebenar isu ataupun perkara ini yang menarik untuk kita kongsikan ya ataupun dengar pencerahan sendiri daripada YB Rafizi Ramli berkaitan dengan inisiatif ini. Ah, kalau pihak pembangkang seringkali mereka menyerang YB Rafizi Ramli ya raja formula di mana formula dan sebagainya. Selepas padu KL20 dilancarkan pula dan akan berlaku dalam beberapa hari ini lagi. Jadi sahabat semua, tanpa buang masa, mari kita uh, dengar sendiri uh, daripada YB Rafi Zeramli ini. Yang berhormat Saudara Chang Likang, Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation. Uh, yang berhormat Datuk Hajar Hanifah Hajar Taib, Deputy Minister of Economy. Yang berhormat... Datuk Haji Muhammad Yusuf Abdal, Deputy Minister of Science, Technology and Innovation, Secretary Generals from all the ministries that have been working on this, um, from the Ministry of Economy, um, from we were supposed to have um, Datuk Saifuddin from Home Affairs, but we also have leadership from Home Affairs Ministry from Mosti from MITI and also um, Matur Rozi, um, KSU, Kementerian Digital, representatives of the ecosystem, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much um, for being here uh, at the very last minute notice because we've had um, a few changes here and there. Um, but I, I requested to the team that we cannot postpone it anymore because by next week, we all shut down It's Raya. Uh, one week before Raya, everyone will shut down. And then uh, KL20 is about 10 days after Raya. So we really don't have the time. We have to do it. Uh, the good thing is that um, I never thought that uh, Parliament um, a Banquet Hall um, is actually better than any hotel's um, ballroom um, without any fee being charged to us. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in less than four weeks' time, Malaysia will be launching um, a one-of-a-kind regional startup conference called KL20. It is part of our ambition to catapult Kuala Lumpur as a top 20 startup ecosystem in the world and become the gateway to innovation in Southeast Asia. KL20 itself is a two-day event scheduled for 22nd and 23rd April and will be held at the Kuala Lumpur Convention Center. It will gather an unprecedented mix of global sovereign wealth funds leading venture capitalists, international startups, and incubators. And um, compared to what we've had before in Malaysia, we paid a particular attention in um, working with the sovereign funds and venture capital firms, because that's, I think, one area that we can improve tremendously um, and um, unless we resolve the issue about funding of startups in this country, um, then there will always be a chicken and egg question about the ecosystem. So I'm excited to share that um, I think we'll, we will see um, a lot of announcements of startups and uh, sovereign wealth funds uh, at KL20. With over 1,000 attendees anticipated, KL20 will feature an exciting speaker lineup from all corners of the globe. The likes of Dr. Chi Bin of CIC, 
um, China Sovereign Wealth Fund, um, C.K. Seng of AM, um, the um, uh, cheap semiconductor startup, and Jenny Lee of GGV Capital are just a few of our headline names. It must be stressed, however, that such figures do not take time out of their busy schedules just to come to Kuala Lumpur and speak at the conference for no reason. Um, I've met them and spoke to them. Um, you know, you always think that uh, those who are familiar with startups is all about pitching. I never thought that when you become a minister, I still have to do pitches. So we've been talking to them. Um, I think they are excited, uh, but most importantly is that um, we have gone through that discussion with the stakeholders of the ecosystem for the last almost one year to curate the policy and the programs under KL20 so that there are compelling offerings to the ecosystem players that set KL20 apart from the past. For the first time, the Prime Minister, Yang Amat Berhormat Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim, will launch um, an action paper, KL20 action paper, which outlines over 20 plus transformative reforms that we hope will jumpstart the ecosystem in, in Kuala Lumpur in order for us to move up towards the top 20 ecosystem globally. We hope the radical initiatives which we are um, um, curating will build the startup pipeline from three perspectives. Uh, from the funders perspective, investors perspective, from the founders perspective, and also from the talents perspectives. And the agencies um, within the government's um, ecosystem have been brought together and um, I think all of us have our work cut out um, from, uh, to make sure that we focus on, on these um, um, perspectives. Um, we line up programs and uh, policies for the funders and for the venture capital um, firms, also for the founders, and as importantly, to make sure that we can develop the kind of pipelines of talents that we need for our ambition. I know that we are um, inundated with documents and action plans, so I usually uh, will be the last one to cheer for any new document. Um, you know, we, we have a lot of blueprints. So I would like to assure our friends um, in the startup ecosystem that we hope that this is not just any guiding document, um, but it's meant to be implemented. Um, just like how we build um, any tech products, it's going to be iterative. It's just a, the first set that we release. And as we go through this process, we will iterate it. Um, but um, we want to make sure that it's not just announcements. KL20 will feature um, a series of blockbuster deals. Um, that's why it took us almost a year and um, the timeline had been moved from Quarter three, I think we, we started, uh, you know, in 2023, and then I think we moved it to January 2024, and then finally it has, it will happen in uh, April 2024, um, beginning of quarter two. Uh, not so much because of the difficulty in getting the documents and policies done, but because we want to make sure that at KL20, actions will happen. Uh, when we talk about sovereign funds, sovereign funds will be there and they put the money. Uh, when we talk about venture capitalists, when we, when we um, talk about um, um, semiconductor and high value uh, tech firms from around the world, we want them to be there 
to announce um, their next plan in Malaysia. So, inshallah, um, we will be seeing uh, a launch of a growth fund of some amount, which, you know, by Malaysian standard, I think it will be more significant than what we have seen before. Um, the arrival of several international venture capital firms setting offices in Malaysia, as well as unicorns establishing R&D facilities here, um, setting up their engineering units and their regional um, headquarters here. In short, um, we want to show that uh, KL20 is, um, well, it's action. It's not just talk and it's just not um, a series of document papers. And our hope is that with the speakers, the action paper, the deals and much more, KL20 will generate a buzz amongst not just our community here, but the startup community across the region by attracting these disruptors into our ecosystem we want to drive malaysia up the value chain and demonstrate our ability to compete with the very best i've mentioned this before we um, pivoted slightly differently in terms of our strategy uh, instead of just focusing on so-called homegrown startups and chasing some unicorns that was a policy of the past we want to create a top ecosystem where startup founders from around the world actually come here. Because whether you are a founder from KL or Jakarta or Mumbai or Seoul, um, if you bring your startup here, develop your startup here, uh, at the end of the day, the beneficiary are basically Malaysian talents and Malaysian economy. And uh, KL20 will set out the plan to pivot towards that um, strategy, which is very much moving away from startup focus to ecosystem focus. And uh, finally, um, we hope that um, with the launch of KL20 by Yama Borhamad Perdana Menteri, it's going to be our simple message to the rest of the world, which is Malaysia is open for business in digital and tech. If you want to be a part um, of that journey and contribute, um, I suggest you register um, on the KL20 website at kl20.gov.my. And so far, um, with our engagements um, with uh, participants, speakers, uh, VC firms, and, and other startup founders, uh, we hope to have significant participation from regional and international um, players as well. With that, thank you very much. Um, and I look forward to seeing all of you again um, in KLCC. Um, and um, we have about four weeks to pull it off. And um, this is very much to all the agencies who have been working very hard for this. Um, then, um, and I hope um, um, with all your hard work, um, we have seen some glimpse of early success because the interest that we have garnered so far from participants um, was um, an endorsement of, of what our respective agencies and ministries are doing. Um, What's left to us now is to bring KL20 and the plan to the world. Um, and um, I'm sure um, if everything goes well, you will see KL20 in 2025, KL20 in 2026 onwards. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Baik sahabat-sahabat semua itu dia penjelasan daripada YB Rafizi Ramli ya berkaitan dengan KL20 ha, Sebenarnya eh, Apa yang ditargetkan Mahu dicapai oleh uh, Kementerian Ekonomi YP Rafizi Ramli Ialah Untuk menjadikan Kuala Lumpur ini uh, Antara Top 20 ya Dalam Global Startup Ecosystem uh, So mungkin Ramai yang tidak tahu sangat ya Berkaitan dengan Startup Ecosystem ini 
ya bisnis yang dimulakan secara global ya uh, yang mana mencari ya pelabur-pelabur startup startup founders dan juga talent ya uh, yang un, ya ma, untuk ya campur tangan ataupun terlibat di dalam di dalam proyek ini sahabat-sahabat semua ha, jadi maksudnya satu talent itu satu cadangan ataupun idea itu diketengahkan dan mungkin ya pelabur yang berminat itu akan melabur kepada idea dan juga uh, bisnes yang mereka uh, lakukan uh, teknologi yang mereka uh, cipta dan sebagainya uh, ini bukan saja idea ya tapi sebenarnya perkara itu sudah di, di, dibuat ya supaya pelabur pelabur itu uh, berminat ya dengan dengan idea tersebut ya itu dia sebenarnya Uh, jadi terima kasih sahabat semua dan kita ucapkan selamat maju jaya untuk program untuk program ini inisiatif ini dan menjadikan KL ya menjadi top 20 dalam startup ekosistem di dalam uh, dunia <laughs> itu dia. Jadi terima kasih sahabat semua sekali lagi izinkan saya uh, sekali anda mau berikan sebarang komen anda boleh berikan dalam ruangan komen dan terima kasih izinkan saya untuk mengundurkan diri. Dan seperti biasa, peribahasa mengatakan tak apa pun kangkap dua tahun keinginan dalam bahasa Melayu tepuk dadah tanya selera. Sekian dari para orang dan channel saya kita berjumpa lagi. Bye bye.